Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I'm sorry if I sound congested. Um, I'm sick with COVID. <laughs> it is all these years that COVID has been around. Um, I have never caught COVID. And I caught COVID. <laughs> um, I don't know who I caught it from. Um, I'm assuming it might be my boss because he came to work really, really sick for about a good week and he was coughing and he was around us and, um, yeah, I mean, he's the only one that was really sick that was around me. Um, of course, if I ask him, he's going to tell me he didn't, he didn't have it, but I, I'm pretty sure he didn't necessarily test himself either. So, um, yeah. I, I freaking COVID, um, is been a touch and go past couple days. Um, I'm congested. It, it's just like, um, how do you describe having COVID? You start off with a bunch of symptoms and then maybe one symptom goes away and a, a new one pops up. So the first night I had really bad chills, um, no matter how many blankets and sweatshirts and, and flannels I put on myself, I couldn't get warm. I was freezing. Um, and then my body was killing me. And then I woke up with a splitting headache the next day, a pounding headache and body chills and sweating and, um, a body aches. So I finally went to urgent care. I called out of work that day. I went to urgent care uh, after testing myself at home twice and getting some iffy results. I mean, two lines is two lines. That's what they told me. So I did get two lines on each test at home test and it was positive. So, but I still went to urgent care to get double checked and their test came out positive too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so... Then the next day after that, um, I had lots of nausea and stomach cramping. Really, that was, that was by far the worst. Um, I hated that. Um, lots more sweating. Now today, uh, what are we on? Day three, maybe three or four right now? I don't know. Um, now I'm dealing with tons of stuffiness and congestion and I have a cough um and no matter what I take I can't get rid of the congestion it's killing me and my pet peeve about being sick other than a really sore throat is not being able to breathe out of my nose I'm a nose breather so when I get stuffy I'm, I'm very frustrated and irritated that I can't breathe out of my nose <laughs> Um, so, and it's, of course, you get more stuffy at night, but unfortunately it's maybe because of the COVID, it's been like an all day thing. I've been getting stuffy on and off all day. So, um, I've been sleeping and napping. Uh, of course, I, I can't go to work at the bakery. So I'm out of the bakery for five days. Um, Sunday I have to retest myself at home. And take my temperature. If my temperature is okay and everything's all right, then I can return back to work next week um, on Tuesday. Um, I still have been working crossing guard, but I'm not necessarily next to people at crossing guard. I'm standing dead center in the middle of a road while people are walking at crosswalks far away from me. So nobody is near me um, and we're outdoors. So... You know, I didn't really want to go without any paychecks, you know, should be, I know it should be the last thing I'm worrying about being sick as money, but I always have to worry about money. I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> so, um, and at least I got some sick time that I, I was able to use at the bakery. I don't really get sick time with the police station. I have to earn it every 30 hours. I get an hour. That's really not a lot, especially if I have to be out for five days. I don't even have that much sick time. I just started. So that's that you guys. So today's my last day of work and then I'm off for the whole week and then I can really, really relax the whole weekend. Plus I haven't been able to relax because my grandfather came home from the hospital um, yes, I know what you're thinking. I really shouldn't be around him with COVID and I shouldn't, but my grandmother, 
her nurses and aides haven't started coming to the house yet. And, you know, um, my grandfather can't get up to go to the bathroom. He's too weak. So, unfortunately, he messes himself and she has to roll him over to clean him over. And he's 200-something pounds of dead weight. He can't move himself. So, me and Julio and Grandma have to roll him and clean him and it's it's a lot let me tell you something I am not cut out to be a nurse um that that is a definite I am finding that out very fast um nursing and hospice and and <laughs> taking care of elderly um like this it's just not my forte um it's not for me I'm doing it to really help my grandmother because she's in her 70s and she really shouldn't be um moving a 90 year old 200 something pound man by herself and she has no help so I am masking and and stuff like that um and washing hands and stuff before um I handle him but we're just making do with the situation that we are all in in this house <laughs> So it's been a rough couple days. I also, you know, I also haven't made any videos because I haven't really been getting any packages. Um, I've been kind of cutting back on the extracurricular ordering. I do owe my grandmother rent for the month of February. So I'm trying to get my money up to give to her. So I have been trying to cut back on all the extra. I mean, I have been ordering a couple um, new things as far as crocheting is concerned, but um, other than that, like, you know, Diamond Art Club and stuff, I really, um, cut way back. So, I'm really sorry there hasn't been any hauls, you know, between being sick with frigging COVID out of all illnesses. And Grandpa coming home, and Grandma coming home, and it's, it's just a mess. But, this is a long overdue video. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I got some friend mail from T, from T's World of Adult Coloring. She came home from her trip from Italy, and we were chit-chatting. I was talking to her about her trip and stuff, and then um, we were starting to talk about Diamond Art Club, and I was telling her about one of my favorite artists at Diamond Art Club, and then somehow it came up that I have no coloring books. I own no um, adult coloring books. So <laughs> she um, actually got me an adult coloring book. Um from Amazon and it's by one of my favorite artists at Diamond Art Club. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the coloring book and we're going to kind of do like a little flip through. This is from Camilla D'Erico. So if you don't know the artist Camilla from Diamond Art Club, um, it's some examples of her artwork is that square diamond painting I just completed, Foxy Lady with the rainbow foxtail around the girl's face. That's one of hers. Um, My Little Man Eater is hers. Rosea is hers. Check them out on Facebook. They're really cute. Um, And Aria, A-R-I-A. -A. Um, those are some of her collections on Diamond Art Club. But this is Best of Pop Manga Coloring Book by Camilla de Arico. Sorry if I'm, I sound like I can't breathe because I can't breathe. <laughs> um, I do have to um, get my hands on some coloring pencils and some markers and stuff like that. Um, this is why I haven't done anything in it yet, but I really haven't had the time. But when I do, aren't these pretty? Her artwork is so cute. She does a lot of stuff with girls with animals around her on, on her head. If you haven't noticed already. <laughs> These are really good. Yeah. The Norwhale. Narwhale. The one with the horn, unicorn horn. Oh, mermaid. Sorry, I'm so quiet, you guys. This is really cute with the wolf and the octopus. These are really cute. I can't wait to, to get my hands on some coloring utensils so I can um, start working in this. Show off my coloring book and add it to the channel. Some coloring pages. This is really pretty. 
I wish um, she would make some more Diamond Art Club canvases because um, I have all of her collection except for two. Um, Rosea is out of stock. Um, and I heard through the grapevine on the VIP group on Facebook that they might be restocking it actually this month in February. So that will be the one canvas. <laughs> if it comes out, I will be um, ordering it. Oh, look, a fox with, I'm assuming, nine tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, nine tails. In a um, live action anime uh, series that I just watched on... I watched twice in a row um, on Netflix. What are the characters? His true self is a fox with nine tails, I believe. He was really, really beautiful. Aren't these cute? Oh, look how adorable. <laughs> oh. I didn't, I flipped through this when I first got it. Look at the kitten with an ice cream. I flipped through this when I first got it, but I really didn't look, look. So I'm really sorry, T. I, this video should have been done sooner, but um, life just really got in the way. <laughs> look at him. Oh, how precious. And these are nice pages. Um, the paper feels really nice. It doesn't feel like cheapo. It's like cheap paper. It feels really nice quality. This is like one of her um, unicorn horses. Or seahorses, I'm sorry. Um, that's in her diamond painting. A little fairy. Oh, look how stinking cute this is. Little monster. Bats. Manga girls. This is really adorable. Oh, look at the little ghosty. Oh, this one's going to be fun to color. I think I would do them all in rainbow. I do all rainbow ghosts. Look at Copybara. I love copy bears. This one's super cute. From the mermaid. Cat. Dragon. Lots of mermaids. I, I love this. She's got like an octopus tail like Ursula. Look, a fawn. This is very mythical and I love mythical creatures. Um, fairies, fawns, um, mermaids, unicorns. I love that. This is right up my alley. Dragons. Look at the, the horse. The Pegasus. Look how cute she is. She definitely needs to come out with more um, diamond paintings. <laughs> because she does on... I'm, I'm going to be right there purchasing them. This would be cute to do for Halloween. This page. Jellyfish. Bats. Oh, look, a little Medusa girl. Oh, I love that. I love Greek mythology. Oh, I got an itch. Okay. Almost done. Let's flip this way. Get down to the gritty. I think this is called a griffin. It's an animal with different animal parts. Oh, look, a centaur. I love it. I'm going to have so much fun coloring these. And here's like one big, um, Page it connects, and I'd even color this. This is the end. That's the end, you guys. Um, 
This was really cute. This is, I, I didn't really get a chance to look, look at this, but this is really beautiful. Um, it has a lot of, um, creatures in here that I would love coloring because I, I love mythical creatures and, um, just mermaids and stuff like that. I love this. This is going to be really, really fun. And you could just fill this up with tons of color. This is a good quality book. This is nice and sturdy. The pages, the um, paper is really, really nice. I don't, I don't feel like I'm going to have to worry about if I use markers, they're going to bleed through. Um, this is a really nice quality book. Thank you so much, T, my friend. Um, you really made my day when you, when you sent this, I was very surprised. Um, you, you do such beautiful coloring on your channel. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, T's World of Adult Coloring, she does coloring, she shows coloring book, adult coloring books. Um, and she has lots of beautiful books out there. Some of them I really, I've seen a couple of her videos, um, of black women, um, coloring books, portraits. Um, I have to get my hands on some of those books because they are really, really gorgeous. Honestly, I could see myself coloring some of those portraits and somehow enlarging them to make them into customs. I thought about that once or twice when I saw some of her stuff on her channel. So, um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I figured I'd get out of bed to, to do this. Everybody, everybody's out of the house today. Grandpa went to wound care. Grandma went with him. Julio went to his friend's house. And I got to go back for my last half of crossing guard for the week and the day. <laughs> my last hour and a half of work and then I'm off for the weekend and and then yeah and then I can really relax and maybe do some diamond painting I there's that diamond painting I have to get done for Julio's friend <coughs> just sits on my desk I've just been sitting in bed you know uh, just wasting away <laughs> COVID is no fun and if you guys have ever had COVID um I know how you feel now because it it is absolutely dreadful. Um, and on top of it, um, my doctors prescribed me that, um, what is it called? That medicine that's made to take if you get COVID to kind of help reduce your symptoms, not cure it, but reduce the symptoms. Um, yeah, my, my, um, state, my government insurance won't pay for it. <laughs> it's over a thousand dollars apparently. Um, yeah, my insurance won't pay for it. So I am stuck kind of riding it out until it runs its course. So, um, that really sucked. So that's, that's how life is, isn't it? <laughs> but anyways, I, I want to say once again, a big, big thank you to T. I really, really appreciate this. You guys will be seeing, um, these, completions of coloring pages maybe a whip and chat of me coloring if if you would like to see a whip and chat with me coloring um one day as soon as i can get my hands on some color pencils and markers and stuff like that um let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me switch it up and do something different on a whip and chat um or maybe just completions i can show you completions to coloring book or progress or you know like we same thing similar to what we do to with diamond paintings on this channel um because i would love to add this in so anyways if you are enjoying the content on my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video mm, excuse me if you are returning thank you for returning and um your continued support on my channel we are i am currently at 615 subscribers we are we are making our way to a thousand you guys um very slowly but surely <laughs> we're, we're making it there so um everybody who subscribed thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel and without further ado my friends i'm going back to bed i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys